Excellency, distinguished delegates and participants, I would like to welcome all of you to 18th annual meeting of the Internet Governance Forum. And my name is Rebecca, and it's my honor to serve the MC for this opening. Prior to the opening ceremony of the 18th annual meeting of the Internet Governance Forum, we now present as the opening act, we're conceptualizing traditional Japanese theater, Kabuki, to Lion with Sansui, media installation by Naoko Tosa. Kabuki is a novel and unusual performing art that appeared in Kyoto at the beginning of the Edo period. In this new work, a heroic lion spirit appeared in a climactic scene of Renjishi, a masterpiece of Kabuki. The scene in where the lion smells a flower and makes a violent movement known as the madness was performed by professional Kabuki actor. Creating a digital Kabuki performance is suitable for an international IT conference. So please, Enjoy this opening performance.
Now, I would like to welcome Mr. Lee Junfar, Under Secretary General of United Nations, and His Excellency Mr. Kishida Fumio, the Prime Minister of Japan, to the stage. So please welcome Mr. Lee and His Excellency Mr. Kishida. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for joining us today for the 18th annual meeting of the Internet Governance Forum, organized by United Nations and hosted by Ministry of Internal Affairs and Communications. Now, I'd like to start the opening ceremony. First of all, we would like to welcome Mr. Antonio guterres Let. Secretary General of the United Nations to the screen. Video message will be introduced by Mr. Lee Junfar, Under Secretary General of the United Nations. So Mr. Lee, please proceed to the podium. Good morning. Your Excellency, Mr. Fushimo Kishida, Prime Minister of the Japan, Excellencies, distinguished participants, I have the honor to introduce the Secretary General of the United Nations, Mr. Antonio Guterres, who will deliver a video address. Peace. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, I'm pleased to greet the Internet Governance Forum as you gather in Kyoto. Let me begin by thanking you for your invaluable efforts bringing together governments, the private sector, civil society, and the technical community for the essential task of advancing an open, safe, and global internet. For nearly two decades, this multi-stakeholder cooperation has proven remarkably productive and remarkably resilient in the face of growing geopolitical tensions, proliferating crises, and widening divisions. Your work is now more important than ever. We need to keep harnessing digital technologies enabled by the internet to help deliver on the sustainable development goals, take climate action, and build a better world. I see three areas for action. First, we must work together to close the connectivity gap and bring the remaining 2.6 billion people online, in particular women and girls in least developed countries. Second, we must work together to close the governance gap including by elevating and better aligning the work of the IGF and other digital bodies across the UN system and beyond. Third and fundamentally, we need to reinforce a human rights and human-centered approach to digital cooperation. It is imperative that the internet, including the physical infrastructure that underpins it, remains open, secure and accessible to all. This means that the Internet's long-established multi-stakeholder institutions need more support, not less. The leadership panel I've established for the Internet Governance Forum is aimed at providing strategic guidance, supporting stable funding, and amplifying the impact of your important work. To help advance the search for concrete governance solutions, I'm appointing a high-level advisory board the, on artificial intelligence, which will provide preliminary recommendations by the end of this year. And the Global Digital Compact, proposed for adoption at the Summit of the Future in 2024, aims to set out principles, objectives and actions to secure a human-centered digital future. Governments, the private sector and civil society must come together regularly to ensure that the commitments enshrined in the Compact are followed up. We cannot afford another retreat into silos. We must work to prevent gaps from emerging on new digital technologies, avoid duplication, and address emerging risks effectively. I look to your gathering in Kyoto to provide critical input to advance our collective efforts. Together, we can realize the ambition spelled out in the team of your forum and build the internet we want to empower all people. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Secretary General. Please allow me to join the Secretary General to extending our gratitude to the government of the Japan for hosting us. Excellencies, distinguished delegates, 
as the Secretary General reminded us, the challenge of confronting the global community in reaching the 2030, deliver, the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development are vast and complex. The internet will play an integral role in navigating these complexities, moving us towards a better and a more resilient future. But this requires responsible policies that leverage the benefits of digital technologies while mitigating the risks. The Internet Governance Forum must respond through the UN's convening role to bring every country and every individual together, regardless of the stakeholder groups or the backgrounds. IGF needs to further strengthen its role as a being in a global digital policy forum in finding points of convergence and the consensus and in identifying the digital solutions in reaching the 2030 agenda. In this connection, I welcome the focus of the forum on the urgent and the relevant digital issues and look forward to your contributions and the recommendations on the way forward. Ladies and gentlemen, 18 years ago, in 2005, the IGF received its mandate through the World Summit on Information Society. In 2025, the United Nations General Assembly will review this mandate. Member states will consider the impacts and outcomes of the forum and determine its future. With this in mind, I invite you to consider three questions during this year's IGF. First, has the IGF delivered on its mandate and purpose? Second, how can the internet better support and accelerate the achievement of the SDGs? Third, how can the IGF best support both the preparations of and the follow-up to the Global Digital Compact and the Summit of the Future? This forum is aimed at empowering all countries to deliver the better digital policies, to support the more open, inclusive, and safe access to digitalization for all people. We must ensure that it is delivering on that aim. We call for the closer collaboration and partnership among stakeholders, greater digital innovation for accelerating SDG implementation, and force the technical assistance to the global south to bridge the digital divide. Together, let us leverage the inclusive, multi-stakeholder approach of the Internet Governance Forum to build the internet we want. I thank you. Thank you very much, Excellency. Next. I invite His Excellency, Mr. Kishida Fumio, the Prime Minister of Japan, to deliver his remarks. His Excellency, Mr. Kishida, please proceed to the podium. え、え、心から敬意を表し申し上げます。会議を開催し、こうして皆様をお迎えできることを大変嬉しく思っています。インターネットをはじめとするデジタル技術は、
、世界中の人々の経済活動を支え、経済成長をもたらすエンジンです。インターネットは、まあ、自由で多様な表現の場として機能するとともに、時間や空間の制約を超えた情報やサービスへのアクセスを可能とするものであり、生活や社会経済活動にとって不可欠であるだけでなく、民主主義社会の基盤として極めて重要です。また、自由で分断のないインターネットは、開発、保険、安全保障といったわれわれが直面するさまざまな課題の解決や、人類のさらなる発展のために不可欠です。一方で、インターネットが偽情報を含む違法有害情報の拡散、サイバー攻撃、サイバー犯罪など、人々の安全や自由な経済社会活動を脅かす課題を生んできたのも事実であります。それらの負の側面にも背を目を背けることなく、世界中からさまざまな立場の参加者が一堂に会し、マルチステークホルダーアプローチの議論により、英知を結集することで、リスクを低減しつつ、インターネットの恩恵を最大化できると確信をしています。本年の会合の全体テーマである、われわれが求めるインターネット、あらゆる人を後押しするためのインターネットは、誰一人取り残さない。包摂的なインターネットを実現し、持続可能な人類の未来を切り開くという力強い決意の表れであると思います。日本政府として、ホスト国として、この議論に貢献することが重要な責務であると考えています。インターネットが信頼性のある自由なデータ流通 DFFT を促進し、引き続き人類の発展に貢献するためには、オープン、自由、グローバル、相互運用、運用可能、安全かつ信頼できるインターネットを維持することが必要であると確信をしています。我が国は、さまざまな立場のマルチステークホルダーによるインターネットガバナンスを支持し、引き続きコミットしてまいります。最後になりますが、開催都市であるここ、京都は、豊かな歴史と伝統が息づく都市です。ご参加いいいただいている皆様にはインターネットの未来についての活発なご議論、参加者同士の交流と合わせまして、ぜひ京都、そして日本の文化や食事、おもてなしをご堪能いただきたいと思っています。この京都における会合が、国際社会の未来、そして皆様一人一人にとって、有意義で実りあるものとなることを記念し、私からのオープニングのご挨拶とさせていただきます。ありがとうございました。Thank you very much, Excellency. And thank you. Please give a round of applause once again to the speakers.